What's up guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here and today we're going to be checking out Lossless Scaling 3. This uh, is a fairly new app that's come out on Steam and has been making waves in the tech community. Uh, it's actually really, really cool. Huge shout out to a uh, friend Bud who actually uses this to upscale Netflix. So not only does it work on games, it actually works on uh, video content and pretty much any content it can detect as well. Before we get started, if you're watching this video, chances are you're not subscribed. So click on that sub or Patreon button below. A uh, huge shout out to Gabriel Apostle for being my first Patreon supporter. And uh, if you want to shout out some videos like this, definitely uh, join the club. So this is lossless scaling and it's extremely easy to use. The main features we're going to want to actually adjust are uh, frame generation and scaling. Those are the two things that are gonna help you the most, but there are a lot of other options that you can go through. I'll probably make another in-depth video on how to use those as well as how to create custom profiles for different games. Um, but we're just gonna show how it works in uh, a random game here. So let me go ahead and launch a game in Steam. All right, so we're in Farming Simulator and we're actually gonna go into these settings and let's say I'm not getting the performance I want at native resolution like 1440p, uh, which I'm at now. If I drop this down to 1080, or maybe even lower at 720, but we're gonna try it at 1080 and hit confirm, then all of a sudden you're gonna get a higher frame rate because you're rendering like half of the pixels you're rendering before. Uh, so it's gonna help you out in that sense. But now we can kind of see some of the rough edges around the screen, right? Or around some of the objects because obviously we're at a lower resolution, it's not gonna be as crisp. So all we need to do is head over to uh, our lossless scaling app, head over to type of scaling, and I prefer NIS, this seems to be a favorite. Uh, this is NVIDIA image scaling, and we'll leave sharpness around the center just in case. And then you're gonna to wanna to click on scale, and you have five seconds to head back to the game, and let's see what it does. And there we go, it's gone ahead and uh, upscaled the quality so it's at a slightly higher quality than it was before and essentially switching from 1080 to a closer to a closer to native presentation now we can actually go even further than that and if we go in and change this to for example 720 which is a massive drop you'll see that even the text here is a little bit hard to read right if we turn on scaling and give it a few seconds, even that clears itself up. And in here, we can see that we still have a very playable experience, even at 720p upscaled to 1440. Now, the cool thing we can do is we can actually turn on frame generation as well. There's three versions of frame generation out, so we're gonna choose the newest one. Uh, let's say 2x mode, and we'll put it at 100% scale. Then, I'm actually gonna raise this back up to 1440p so this is what it looks like unscaled and everything and then i can go over here turn on scaling and frame gen and even at native resolution you're going to see that we get a much sharper and crisper image now you can actually adjust the sharpness settings of this as well so if we unscale this and lower the sharpness then we get uh, a much less jagged around the edges image um, and if there's a lot of text that we want to focus on or we need uh, increased sharpness, we can raise this up to 10. And now you can see that every detail, even in the ground, is super, super sharp. Now, I wouldn't necessarily recommend using 10 as a sharpness setting. I prefer, I personally prefer somewhere in the middle. So I would change this to about five. And then of course, there are options for other types of content. So you can go in here and choose like Anime 4K, Sharp by Linear, or even turn off scaling and use it specifically for frame generation. That can help you get some extra frames per second in your uh, favorite games and can help with lag quite a bit. But yeah, uh, that's it for this one. Thank you so much to Bud for uh, showing me this app. And thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you have any questions or comments in the comment section below. And as always, hope you have a good one. Peace. And kudos, we rock that pseudo administrative elevator command. We build it up or break it down in that virtual lab. From conversations to games to interviews with a broader view. He keeps it fresh, always brings something new. It's Mike the Tech, Mike the Tech, huh? Mike the Tech, the architect, huh? Mike the Tech, Mike the Tech, yeah. Mike the Tech, the architect.
Ten.